What's their motivation? Where did they originate from? There are so many questions about these bashful little guys. Look, the Mario universe is filled with tons of creatures and species that inhabit the world. Of all of them, there are none more mysterious than the masked shy guys. The first time we saw these cloaked strangers was in their debut game called Yumi Kojo Doki Doki Panic. It was a Japanese only game for the family computer disc system. Eventually, it was re released worldwide and reskinned into Super Mario 2. The original depiction of the shy guy is that of a villain to Mario. They're constantly trying to prevent him from making his way through the levels and put an end to Wart's tyranny. Who's Wart? An evil frog who's essentially the precursor to Bowser. In other games, the Shy Guys have been part of Bowser's Koopa Troop, and they've worked for other villains, including Kamek and Donkey Kong. I know, we've just made them look out to be pretty bad, but historically, Shy Guys have also shown their friendly side. For example, the white Shy Guys who save Yoshis in Yoshi's Island, or the chatty Shy Guy in Paper Mario Color Splash who gives an insight into his motivations. It states that all of Mario's obstacles are a result of their hard work, as they are ordered to constantly attack. Are Shy Guys simply mercenaries that have been hired by overlords such as Bowser? Or perhaps the Shy Guy race is enslaved under the rule of the likes of Ward or DK? The bigger mystery of the Shy Guys are their appearance. One of the popular ideas is the Shy Guys are derived by the Seven Dwarves in Snow White. The leather belt, baggy outfit, and Sega hoods all resemble that of the Shy Guy. Put a mask on one of the dwarves and it'd be tough to differentiate. Now, the Japanese name for Shy Guys are Hey Ho, which is also the name of the Seven Dwarves working song. And the Shy Guys also sing a similar tune in their Mario Kart map, Shy Guys Bazaar. Realistically, I'm not interested in their taste of music. I want to know what's behind the mask. Meme says that it's quite a disturbing image. Meme or not, the idea of a shocking appearance is reinforced by Luigi in Super Mario Tennis. When Shy Guy runs up to receive his trophy, he trips and loses his mask, which has Luigi quite distraught. Aside from this, there are a few clues that suggest what's behind the mask. The biggest hint as to what Shy Guys are comes from the Golden Coliseum in Paper Mario Color Splash. A Shy Guy tells Mario that he wouldn't make a great Shy Guy because he has self-confidence and a face. Is he insinuating the Shy Guys are faceless? When we see Shy Guys lose their mask, the mask's eyes and mouth holes are colorless, which implies that whatever's behind the mask is black. So are they ghosts? Impossible! Ghost Shy Guys already exist, and there's no such thing as a ghost of a ghost. In Super Mario Strikers, when Shy Guy's mask falls off, it leaves behind another mask. In Luigi's Mansion, the ghost Shy Guy gets their mask sucked off, revealing glowing yellow eyes. Is this the case for living Shy Guys, or only for those who have reached the afterlife? In other situations, it should be noted that the mask strap stays intact even when the mask falls off. So it's possible that their true identity is hidden underneath their outfit, not their mask. An odd but plausible theory is that their mask is actually their real face. You may not believe me, but in Mario Strikers Charged, Shy Guy's mask changes shape to exhibit emotion. Unlike other Nintendo species like the Koopas, Toads, and Goombas, Shy Guys have been left quite a mystery by Nintendo. Their origins have roots to Arabian culture. They have a one-off appearance in The Legend of Zelda, and there seem to be inconsistencies with their secret identity. So until a new Nintendo title drops us off with more hints, we'll just keep wondering why this shy guy is drinking a toad with a straw.